people who HIV is not on their radar, HIV was not on my radar either until I was told I was HIV positive. Although I take seven horse pills every day of my life, the stigma and discrimination, I would say, is the hardest part of the virus. My name is Marvelyn Brown, and I'm an author and HIV advocate. Prior to my diagnosis of HIV at the age of 19, I was just an all-American teenager. I absolutely did not think that HIV was a concern or issue for me or even my peers. I grew up watching Disney princess movies and I long and yearn for my Prince Charming. I graduated high school in 2002 and I definitely thought I met him. Of course, we became intimate. The worst thing I thought that could happen from this night was definitely pregnancy, but this is my Prince Charming. And no longer than three weeks after, I was sick in the hospital with pneumonia. And then a couple weeks after that, I was diagnosed with HIV. You know, prior to coming in the hospital, I was a healthy young athlete. You know, I immediately thought that I was gonna die and that my life was over. I knew nothing about people surviving with HIV. I didn't know what being HIV positive meant. And I had no idea about the stigma and the discrimination that surrounds the virus. The H in HIV stands for human. If you are a human, you can get this. Prior to my diagnosis, I thought it was gay men or people in Africa. I realized not only that I was uneducated, but a lot of my peers were as well. So I decided to share my story. It was never my intention to become a public figure or a face for HIV and AIDS, but it felt like my diagnosis was not in vain. And I did receive negative stuff, but I also received support. You know, people who could resonate with my story. I mean, who doesn't loan or want that Prince Charming? The judge gave him the max. To sit up there to see Prince Charming, that vindication, I mean, it just hit different. <laughs> Never seen this in Disney. I want people to know that I'm just like them. And HIV does not discriminate. I really feel like education on the virus will reduce stigma and discrimination because HIV has been pushed to the side. But people are still getting affected and people are still dying. It's still important for people to know their status. The day-to-day -day life of staying healthy with HIV, number one, mental health is so important. People have problems in their everyday life and I still do too, but I got HIV on top of that. It's important to take my medication every day at the same time. I have been HIV positive for 19 years and I do not look like it. I look good. Living a long and healthy life with HIV, it ain't easy, but I love myself enough to protect myself and to keep myself happy. And just always remember, I am HIV positive, but I'm Marvelyn Brown first.